The year 2024 marked the 100th anniversary of Edwin Hubble publishing his discovery that the Milky Way is not the entirety of the known universe. In that year, he discovered by looking at our nearest neighbor, large red-blooded galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy. By the way, it wasn't known as a galaxy back then because back then they were just fuzzy things in the night sky. There were irregular nebulae, there were spherical nebulae, there were spiral nebulae. Nebulae is just fuzz in Latin, okay. So the Andromeda Nebulae, he's looking at it, but I wonder how far away that is. And so he found a star in the galaxy with the world's largest telescope. He couldn't do this with other telescopes at the time. This is the Carnegie Observatory, 100 inch Mount Wilson telescope, 100 inches in diameter, the most powerful telescope in the world on a mountaintop. He identifies a star, a variable star, a star that varies in brightness in the Andromeda Galaxy. It says, wait a minute, that star is like these other stars that are nearby that are right here, close to us, but it's so much dimmer. How could it be that dim if it's in our own galaxy? It's varying in exactly the same way as these other stars are that are right here in front of my nose. So you run the math on this, and if it's the same star, and if it's in the Andromeda Nebula, it puts the Andromeda Nebula far outside of the Milky Way. Oh my gosh outside of the Milky Way, an entire system of stars. In that moment, our knowledge of the universe grew from this provincial Milky Way to the Milky Way being just one of countless other galaxies. And overnight, the Andromeda Nebula became the Andromeda Galaxy.